Hello and welcome back to my channel. Actually, I don't know if I want to say welcome back to my channel. I was out with some um, um, YouTubers and bloggers the other day and they're saying how cringe it is when people say welcome back to my channel. And I've realised I'm one of those people that does that. But So if you find that cringe, sorry, but what's a better intro? Um, hi, how are you? <laughs> I don't know. Hi! Um, so it's been a while since I've done kind of a, a sit down video like a proper intentional video I've done chatty videos I've done vlogs but this is an actual thought out video which is really nice and you might have spotted I'm in quite a new environment I'm in the new flat um, it's still not really done so to speak but we have the sofa bed in here and some other bits and bobs anyway today's video is actually a haul but it's a different haul for me in many ways. One, it's a homeware haul. Um, I've done some IKEA hauls before, but I've never really had a reason to do a proper homeware haul because I've been living at my parents' family house pretty much my whole adult life till now. And so I wasn't able to put my stamp on a place, so to speak. I had little bits here and there, but on the whole, it was their decor. So this is the first time I've been able to uh, actually pick out things that us my taste that I like the look of or that I'm drawn to so it's been a really fun exciting time for me. The second reason this haul is a little bit different is because as you may know if you follow me on Instagram I have been working hard to try and make some really positive changes in terms of my lifestyle um, with the environment in mind and the future of the planet in mind. So. This haul is actually mainly things that have been thrifted, found in charity shops, on Facebook Marketplace, on eBay, that have been recycled, that I've upcycled. Nothing in this haul is brand new. So I thought that would be good to just show that you can find some amazing things and not just do good in terms of the environment. It's really good if, like me, you are on a budget and you need to save where possible, but you still have an interest in interiors and design and aesthetic, just to show that you can do it on a budget. So, I've written the list here so I make sure I, I put everything in. So, first up is this pot, which I got in Bernardo's charity shop got it for three pounds and originally before I painted it with this grey which was some leftover paint I had from a tester pot, pot from Earthborn it had kind of a floral design which wasn't really to my taste but this was I think three pounds and the 10 minute upcycle job and now it's a quite an attractive pot that I have on one of my kitchen shelves so that's a charity shop find this I actually got from I always refer to it as the dump just because that's what I've grown up calling it. You go, oh, you go into the dump, I'm dropping some stuff off at the dump. But I think they call it a recycling centre these days. Now, in our borough, our, is it a borough? Yeah. In, within the, the recycling centres, they now have these shops called Revive where they've handpicked some nice bits that have been dropped off at the recycling centre and they're selling them in a little shop there for very very inexpensive um, amounts and then the money that you pay for the items is split between charities so it's a really great initiative and there's some amazing things in there so yesterday when we were dropping off our carpet i quickly i saw this out the corner of my eye i was like oh pink uh, it's a little pink pot and that was one pound and i'm just going to get a plant to put in it but you don't often see like candy pink um, plant pots, so I thought that was really lovely. It needs a bit of a clean, but it's in pretty good knit. Again, at the dump, at the Revive shop. Oh, oh, bloody hell. I, oh God, how do I do this? <laughs> so, I saw this frame. Um, I don't know how to do this. So, I, um, I've got lots of big prints that need frames. Um, but really nice frames can be quite expensive. You can get some basic frames on Amazon that are really reasonable, but if you want a really nice chunky gold frame, they can be a little bit pricey. And the guy gave me this for three pounds. I'm not gonna use the painting, but you know, if you wanted some artwork and this fitted in with your scheme, it's quite a nice painting. So I thought, yeah, I thought that was a real bargain. <laughs> oh God. 
God, that's heavy. Oh, you know, it's good quality when something's heavy, I think. So next up is this amazing Chinese style planter. And this, I think, was in the Sam Bear charity shop in my local high street. And this was in the window. And it was the last shop that we passed on the shopping trip. And I had actually gone with the intention, intention of hoping to find some plant pots in the charity shop. And I'd had no luck. And then the last one we went in, this was in the window. And it was like, oh. Um, so I rushed in and straight away picked it off the display and got it because I thought it was such a find. And that was £10, which I know actually oh God, I'm out of breath. it sounds quite a lot for a charity shop to spend 10 pounds or something but when you look at these online some people are asking for like 120 pounds for something like this if i've even looked on facebook marketplace and you can't get any for cheaper than i think the cheapest other one i saw on there was about 40 pounds so that was a real find and it looks amazing in the lounge against the dark chill walls we have in there oh oh this is quite an exhausting haul. Okay. One of Sai's favourite things to do is to play Call of Duty. For the last few years, obviously, that's meant I've had the sounds of war ricocheting off my bedroom walls, which is not the most zen, uh, relaxing vibe to create in our sanctuary. Um, he's, as we speak, he's in our new lounge playing Call of Duty in his pants. What was my point? Oh, yes. Uh, for him, sound is very important when he's playing those games. He wants to hear all the guns and the people dying for some reason, like in really good quality. So he's always said that he wants to get a sound bar at some point. It really wasn't high on the agenda for me, but when I was having a little look on uh, Facebook Marketplace, one come up that was, I think, five minutes down the road and for £30. So I messaged him when he was at work. I was like, are you interested? I'll reserve it for you. And we did and we got it and it's really good. Um, so I've looked online and I think that particular model by that particular brand isn't going for anywhere less than £100, £140. So again, we've saved at least 70 pounds on the soundbar and it's in perfect condition there's no scratches on it it works fine and between you and me i think really it's because Cy being in a band in a rock band for over a decade his hearing's not what it was once before and um we always joke that he's got bass ear it's another case of bass ear when he doesn't hear something or conveniently hasn't heard something but i think that has helped him enjoy TV and the games a bit more because he is a, a little bit um, less than at 100% in the ear arena, shall we say. So that was a great bargain. So next up is the nesting tables. I'll insert some pictures here. So we have a little gap that's next to uh, the sofa in the lounge. Um, and I thought it would be a great little spot to have some nesting tables because we don't have room in this flat to have a specific dining table or a dining area but I thought if we have people around and they're on the sofa or we've got them on a bean bag or something if you've got a lot of little small tables that we can just push towards them so they can have their drinks on there or if we want to put snacks on them I just thought they'd be really useful to have and obviously because our lounge is going for this kind of mid-century look um, things like Urkel and G Plan um, their furniture brands uh, what I've been looking for generally on Facebook Marketplace and these came up. Um, it was a little bit of a drive away. I think it was about 35 minutes each way but for £30 for some G-Plan uh, nesting tables was an absolute bargain and they look amazing and they're in great condition and again it's just nice to be reusing an item and giving it a new home and a new lease of life and just really chuffed with those. Like the bedside tables are another Facebook marketplace find and they were £15 each so the deal was two for £30 and they were just some fairly basic um, woody, woody? Wood? <laughs> wood um, John Lewis uh, bedside tables with a simple grey knob and I just saw them and I thought they are a great just basic silhouette that I was looking for that I could then upcycle so I painted them white 
and got some really fancy handles from Anthropology just to jazz them up a bit. Um, I'll insert a picture of them now. If you want to see the full upcycle video though, that is on my home Instagram account, which I'll link below here. So I think they turned out pretty well um, and they saved us a lot of money. It's actually hard to find bedside tables that are below 60 quid that still have some sort of design aesthetic. You can get some very basic or very blocky ones that do the job if you really just need storage. But if you want ones that kind of match what you're envisioning for the look of your room, you do have to pay a little bit more. So this was a great way of achieving that without spending a lot of money. So one of our probably most exciting purchases, I've never had the opportunity to buy a sofa before. So just buying a sofa or the prospect of buying a sofa was really rather exciting. A few months ago, we went to the made.com showroom and we sat on this sofa that was right by the entrance. And it was really nice. At that point in time, in our heads, we were gonna get a chaise sofa. So we had, you know, room to have our legs out and we were thinking gray. So we sat on the sofa and although we loved it, because it wasn't what we were looking for, we kind of moved on. Um, since moving in and realizing the rooms are a lot smaller than we remember from the viewing, we soon realized that a chaise or a, you know, an L-shaped sofa wasn't sensible because it was it just kind of cut the room off. So we decided just to get a nice three-seater sofa. So we're just looking on eBay to try and find some bargains. And we found that sofa that we sat on and it was X display. And we think it genuinely is that one because we haven't been able to find that sofa anywhere else. So yeah, we got it on eBay and included in the price was um, the delivery. And we were a bit worried that it wouldn't fit up the stairs. So we said in that instance, what would happen? And they said, you can have a full refund, but um, you'd have to just pay 60 pounds to cover the delivery man travel and you know trouble um, so we thought that's a pretty good deal and fingers crossed all would be fine and the guys arrived punctually on time they brought it up the stairs for me put it in the room and it looks amazing there's literally nothing wrong with it it's in perfect condition there's no stains no flaws it doesn't smell the cushions are still plump so we got ourselves a right steal there so do look on ebay for x display sofas because my experience is that it's very good. The same day actually that we went to the maid showroom, I took Saita Heels, which is just off Tottenham Court Road. I can't remember the exact road it's on, but it's in a, the most incredible shop full of the most dreamy homeware. And we basically fell in love with this lamp. I think it's called the Marbell or the Marabell lamp. It's a really tall lamp with a marble base with the one we fell in love with had a saffron colored big barrel lampshade. Um, but we saw the price and it's like 190 pounds and we knew on our budget we can't justify spending that on a lamp so we kind of went we'll try and find something similar and then lo and behold we we're searching on ebay one day and the base part of it came up and so let me see so if you buy the whole set from heels or habitat um it's 190 pounds um we found the stand on ebay for 65 pounds and then bought the lampshade um, that goes with it in the sale for I think it was 40 pounds. So we saved at least 90 pounds on that, which is amazing. And it's a real statement in our lounge and we both smile when we look at it and go, yes, we got the lamp. Ooh. So next up is this kind of wicker bamboo-y unit that I saw in the Princess Alice Hospice uh, furniture charity shop which is in my local high street. I go in there whenever I can because they have some amazing things in there. They once had my dream sofa but I missed out on it by two, two days I think it was someone had reserved it before me. No, two hours actually um, so that was annoying but yeah if you're fast, if you act fast and if you visit a lot you can get some amazing gems. But I saw this unit in there and it was £15 and it was at a moment in the in the process where so I was like, don't buy anything else for the flat till we know what room we've got, what we need, that sort of thing. But I just thought for £15, if it doesn't end up having somewhere to go or if Cy ends up hating it, I can put it on eBay, I can put it on Facebook Marketplace and someone will snap it up because this kind of wicker look is very big right now. 
but luckily when he saw it he really liked it too and it actually fits perfectly under our windowsill so it's acting as a really nice bit of extra storage nice display area for you know picture frames prints um, little knick-knacky type things so I'm really pleased with that and it goes well with the theme of the second bedroom stroke office which is kind of very natural fibres, 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 um, white wall, kind of inspired by Joshua Tree, but not in a way that it's like overkill. I'd like to think it's a subtle nod to Joshua Tree, I don't know. Um, so that was a great little bargain. The pink chair in the lounge is actually uh, a relative's that she doesn't use anymore. And it, it was actually my granny's chair. And it's something, when I look at it, it brings me back to my childhood, because I remember you know, running over to my grandfather who would be sitting on that chair and he'd give me my um, salt and vinegar chipsticks when I shouldn't have been eating them before lunch. Uh, so it's steeped in memory. So it's really nice to have it in my new flat because it's like a bit of them are here and they're with me. Oh, made myself well up then. Oh. Yeah. And then we've got an Ikea chair and the footrest as well that my auntie and uncle were actually they don't use anymore and we're just gonna throw it out and they asked if we'd like it and it just it's just such a lovely piece and it goes either in this room or in the bedroom actually and so I've been using the footstool in the lounge because we don't have the the l-shaped sofa we originally gonna have he can still now put his legs up on it so it's been very useful already um, so this grace book I, I can't remember where I saw it but I remember just loving the colors of the cover like that punchy orange and when I knew I was going to go for a teal room I thought I want little accents of like this mustardy saffron color orange you know it's just some really punchy bold colors that will look great against that bluey green um, but the, the book itself is actually quite expensive. It's 20 odd pounds. I was like, I'm not gonna spend that on a book that is essentially there as an accessory, as a color accent. So I looked on eBay and I found one on there for five pounds, what was it, five pounds 75. I thought I can spare that amount and it does look great. So I'm glad I did that. And I don't mind that it's a little bit disheveled because it looks like I actually do read books now and again, which, um, never a bad thing I probably do need to read a few more books and then there's this sofa bed here which is the Kota sofa bed and this is from Habitat another thing that we saw when we went to London when we were going around all the homeware stores together and we toyed with a, a made.com one for a little while but then when we saw this we're like that's the one and it it was in store, I think it's 395. Yeah, 395 is what it costs in store. Um, and we were like, well, that's something we're gonna have to save up for. Go in some sales a few times, and then we missed out on it because whenever it was in the sale, we didn't quite have enough money to buy it. I'm so glad we waited because we found one on eBay in the end. Was it eBay? No, it was eBay. Yeah, it was on eBay and it was for 150 pounds and we won it in the auction while we were in Kingston and the pickup place was just 20 minutes down the road in a place called Merton. So we were in Kingston and could literally drive straight there and pick it up and take it home. So that is a saving of 245 pounds. I mean, that, that just makes you feel good, doesn't it? 150 pounds for a pretty, mint condition habitat sofa bed and I slept in it last night because I was snoring actually and it was very comfortable firm but comfortable and it just looks great as a sofa as well so it's nice when we don't have it out as a bed that I can use this as my little YouTube sofa that I can sit on so very pleased with that next up are these newspapers which I got at a car boot sale Obviously didn't go to a car boot sale thinking I was going to buy some newspapers, but it's the only thing that caught my eye that day. And these are the enemy newspapers. So this one's from the 16th of April, 1994. And it's the one that kind of comm commemorates the death of um, Kurt Cobain and celebrates the life of Kurt Cobain. I thought that's quite an iconic cover. Um, it's not in great condition, but I just thought quite an interesting artifact to have and um, it's got some cool pictures in and things. I thought maybe I can do something cool with that, whether it's put it in a frame or 
use it for something and he did a deal where he, he threw in this one which is as an at home with Kurt and Courtney newspaper. So I got both of them for eight pounds, which I know probably sounds quite a lot for newspapers, but I just thought they were kind of special and it's, it's the only thing that really excited me that day. So I thought I'd treat myself to those and I thought they could be a cool addition to the flat somewhere. So I just thought I'd show you this um, lampshade, which I got for two pounds in a charity shop. I can't remember which charity shop it was, but it was in Surbiton and it just was exactly what I was looking for to go with this base. Um, so that was perfect. It's just kind of like a, a linen-y in a, in a natural colour. So that was a great find. And then this cushion itself isn't the um, bargain. Um, this is H&M, but it's what's inside. And this is, oh, I've still got the tag in. This was from the RSPCA. It was two pounds and there's just this big cushion they had a few there actually and I didn't have an insert for the cushion cover yet so I bought this and it fitted perfectly um so I'm going to go back because they had like I said they had a few and I've got a few more cushions that need filling so um I'm giving to the animals and um getting what I need so thumbs up for that so the tv unit um is one that we saw in Ikea and we love straight away we struggled to find one that we really liked actually because we didn't want one that was just solid wood we wanted something a bit more that had a texture or something a bit more interesting about it and we found this one that had this kind of metal work lattice work on it in Ikea we didn't really like the top of it if we're honest the wood finish wasn't quite what we were looking for but overall we quite liked it and the size was good. So I thought I'll just search in Facebook Marketplace as I tend to do these days and what do you know, one came up um, in Richmond which isn't far away from us. Um, I asked if it was still available and it was. So we got a brand new one that is usually £125 for £75. So that is a saving. I've written it down because I can't do quick maths. Um, so it's a hundred and no. That's a £50 saving, see I needed it written down. Um, it's quite a sad story though, because when we went to visit him, he's literally selling everything he owned. Um, and he's like, I've literally just bought this a couple weeks ago and it was in perfect condition. Uh, unfortunately, due to some personal reasons, he was having to move back to India. Um, him and his partner had moved to England to start a new exciting life. And due to personal circumstances, after finding their dream place in Richmond, they're having to move back unexpectedly. So yeah, it was, we felt really bad, but we're glad we were able to, you know, make his life easier by reducing the amount he had to get rid of. And obviously it's something we really wanted, so it was really helpful to us. But yeah, it, it felt kind of bittersweet because we are sad for him because he was saying he hadn't even enjoyed a summer in the UK yet. So that was sad. Um, but we're very happy with the TV unit and we think it looks great. And then last but definitely not least, because this was actually one of the first purchases I made and it was in an antique shop in Hampton Court area. I always pop in there and just have a little rummage whenever I'm in the area, I love the shops there. And um, there was this uh, dresser which had a mirror on the top. It looked like that mid-century thing that a lot of us are enjoying at the moment. It was G-Plan. Um, there was a bit of... Um, fading on the top due to light going on it, sunlight. I don't know why I can't talk today. Um, but generally good condition. It was, I think he had it on there for 140 and I managed to get him to agree to 110. Um, and I've since looked online and that was a great bargain. The cheapest I found elsewhere was I think 270, but I found ones of the same one going for 395. I even found one in the thousands and something. So we've definitely got a good bargain there. And even though it's meant to be a dresser, so it's meant to be for the bedroom, I think it looks great in the lounge as a kind of unit with the vinyls in the gap in between. And I'm so pleased with it. That was, that was a really exciting find for me, but not the easiest thing to get up the stairs into a flat, um, just as a warning. <laughs> That's it for the bargains for now. I've got so many more hauls to do, so you'll see me again soon. But I hope this has shown you that, you know, there are so many different avenues you can go down to get yourself some good bargains, but also to recycle existing products. You don't always have to buy new and you're not sacrificing anything by not buying new. You can 
like, like there's nothing here that's in bad condition there's nothing here that smells there's nothing here that's not cool like it it i'm just i just love a bargain i think you just feel so much satisfaction when you buy something you love and you know you've got a good deal for it and even better if it's something that's been re-loved or recycled so i really hope you've enjoyed this haul and you're all gonna want to go out and go and hunt around your charity shops around the dump um, on eBay, on Facebook Marketplace, um, around your relatives' houses <laughs> and um, yeah let me know if you find any goodies and if you want more of these sorts of videos let me know too because I'd love to do some more. Um, so thanks for watching and tell me what your favourite bargain is in the comments below. See you in a video, see you in a video soon, see you in a video soon, um, lots of love.